Hey friends, good morning and welcome back to Sunday School here at First United Methodist Church. I mean, we are so glad that all of you are joining us on this Sunday morning. Our story for today is found in the New Testament. Remember, the New Testament are the 27 books at the end of the Bible that begin with the stories about Jesus and end with the story of Revelation when Jesus will come back again and make all things new. The New Testament begins with the four Gospels. Remember, Gospel means good news, and these are the stories about the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus. There are four of them. See if you can say them with me. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Our story for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 through 31. And it's called Doubting Thomas. Now, Thomas was one of Jesus' disciples, and Thomas actually had amazing faith. Um, earlier in the gospel story, he was one who was bold and willing to follow Jesus. But as we'll see in this story, he had some questions. And it's okay to have questions about Jesus. The trick with your questions, though, is you have to take them to the right place. You have to take them to the Bible. You have to take them to Jesus in prayer, and you have to take them to people that you know will point the way to Jesus instead of taking them to people or places that might point you away from Jesus. So let's read our story, Doubting Thomas. You can follow along in your Spark Story Bible. The disciples were hiding in a house that night. Jesus rose from the dead. They were afraid. Bam, they locked all the doors. Jesus came, though, and stood by them. Peace be with you, he said. The disciples looked up in surprise. Jesus showed them his hands and his side so that they would know it was him. The disciples were so very happy. And again, Jesus said to them, peace be with you. God has sent me to you, and now it's your turn to go and tell the rest of the world about me. Jesus breathed on them in a very special way. He said, with this breath, I will always be in your hearts, even when I am in heaven. Now you have the power to do the things that I've asked you to do. Thomas was the only disciple who wasn't there that night. But when he got back, the others excitedly told him about Jesus's visit. I don't believe you, Thomas said. I'll believe when I can touch Jesus's wounds. A week later, Thomas and the other disciples were in the same house. Jesus came again and stood with them. Peace be with you, he said to them. Thomas, Jesus commanded, come here, give me your hands. Put your finger in the wounds in my hand. Put your hand by the wound in my side. Do not doubt anymore. It's time for you to believe. Thomas's eyes popped. My Lord, my God, he exclaimed. Jesus answered him, you believe because I'm here with you and you've seen me. Think of those who have not seen me, but believe in me anyway. You should believe even when you cannot see for yourself. Guys, when Thomas had questions and doubts about Jesus, Jesus didn't get mad. He met Thomas right where he was and he said, Thomas, Come see and touch and know that it's me. You know, I can't wait to get to see Jesus face to face in heaven one day. But until then, we get the chance to believe even though we can't see him. And the Bible says that we're blessed when we don't see and yet still choose to believe. You know, we don't see him face to face, but we do see his little fingerprints everywhere. And we do see the work that he does in the world. I hope that you guys all live in such a way this week that you would have open eyes, willing to see the places that God is at work in your life. Our memory verse for this week, the verse that helps us remember the story that we just heard, is John chapter 20, verses 21. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. 
Jesus was sent into the world to teach us about God's love. Because we are sent out from this place to teach the world the same thing. So when you know somebody at school doesn't go to church and doesn't believe in Jesus, don't be ugly and say things like, oh, I can't be your friend. Instead, show them what Jesus' love looks like by loving and caring for them. And then maybe even invite them to come check out church with you. Guys, I hope you have a great week and I'll see you back next Sunday. Bye, friends. Now stop.